to do it. It's just. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions TV. It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. How you doing? Great, thanks. Me too. Nice to meet you. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so and juicy. Thank you for watching some Patreon. Follow us official Twitter account. And today, we are doing a movie review. Da 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 da! And it's one that's been, wow, requested a lot. Uh, and it even won Twitter polls that I'll show you right here. Bing! See that? Which is why we're doing it. The magic of technology. Uh, Obviously, SRK, so, uh, this one. You guys have heard of him, right? I think so. Yeah. This one, Suede's, they're all, you know, it's SRK. All of them are very requested. Exactly. Uh, but this one, let me look up the synopsi for you. The synopsi, go India. Kabir Khan is the coach of the Indian women's national hockey team, and his dream is to make his all-girls team emerge victorious against all odds. His dream. <laughs> yep. Chok de. That means go, right? That means go. There's yep, two words. Go India. India. Chok day. Chok day. So yeah. Chok, Chok day. day is go. It's just one word? I believe so. Chok day is why go. Is there, why is there two though? I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I uh, saw him say it in the thing, obviously, yeah. but I just didn't... Chok day. So it's yeah. two, but it Chok means... Day. means go. Alright, cool. <laughs> I guess... It, 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 yeah, it's two words. So it's Shah starring, Khan obviously, Shah Rukh Khan, and then I think just a bunch of unknowns, honestly. I don't... For the most part, at least to us. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you all know him as legends, but uh, we don't know anybody else. <laughs> right. And directed by Shem Shemit Amin. I mean, yeah. and I don't think there's too much else. No. This film was interesting to me. And it didn't look 12 years old. No, uh, it, no, not too much. It is uh, a YRF film. Yeah, sorry. It is a YRF film. Uh, I can't copyright this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was an interesting film. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. Yeah, I don't know how you felt about it. Obviously, we haven't talked yet. I didn't love it. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't dislike it. Yeah, no, like I just, I, I didn't hate it, and, but I just, it also, I didn't love it either. Yeah, it felt, for the most part, and I kind of just let it fall into this category. Uh, we, we had movies back here for a long, long time that were called um, After School Specials. Yeah. Where, it, you, before cable TV, back when electricity was not even around, <laughs> uh, we, we had After School Specials that would come on and it was a two hour movie that was in the middle of the week and you would watch it and it's very much comparable to say like a Hallmark film these days. Very family friendly, very high school musical without the music numbers, very uh, pretty tie it up in a bow kind of a thing. And I really felt that this fell under that category. Well, I think one of the main reasons, and we'll talk about Shah Rukh Khan, don't worry. Um, but I think the main reason is the director, who I don't know if you looked him up. I, I think did not he's done three films. Okay. And this was like his second film ever. Yeah, I, for the most part, I would say I like the movie a lot. I would recommend it for people who would like to see a very family friendly uh, film that has some inspiration in it. I think. It fell short in trying to be something like Remember the Titans. There was, there was actually some shots that were almost identical to yeah. Remember the Titans. Yeah. He got there, he made them run a mile. He's right. Like, <laughs> he did, he, he made them say they're part of the team. Not, right. Not this movie, which, yeah. was, which was all great. And I'm sure there's some, obviously there's some cultural things we didn't get because we don't know One each of the different regions. Oh, especially when the girls start showing up. Yeah. And they're doing all of the jokes and the things and the insults about where they come from yeah. and being Punjabi and all that. I know we missed a slew of things. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, my biggest thing was uh, just that the it, it seemed inexperienced in terms of the directing, which makes sense. This is his. He's yeah. I think started as an editor, right? And then he. But there wasn't way. any. There wasn't anything awful. I mean, there wasn't. There wasn't anything where I went, oh, good grief. I was never. I was never so disconnected by the directing that I, I it distracted me from the story. Yeah. No, it wasn't like um, I can't think of. It was something. very safe. Like something. That's what I think one of, the, one of the issues. It was very, like, very predictable. Very predictable, very safe. Like, there's not even, I don't think there's one thing that, it just seemed everything fell into line, mm -hmm. and, like, uh, you knew, like, I, I, I they, they, they rebelled against them. All right, two scenes later, 
All right, he's Everything back in. Fine. Right, I'll be so, back. so it's one of those things. It's just like I, I, it didn't like impress me in terms of that aspect. I enjoyed the uh, the the camaraderie. Just like I mean, remember the Titans? So same type of story. So it's like a very uplifting story mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Shah Rukh Khan. We can talk about him. I thought he did really, really he did well. Really, he's just good all the time. Yeah, uh, I I think I was still more impressed in uh, My Name Is Khan. Oh, unquestionably. By uh, by Shah and Rukh Khan. I, I hesitated with that because you know how I, the I know how you I felt about that. that. No, but but that uh, this is more realistic than DevDoss to me oh, in terms sure. of his his acting. Sure. So that's why I think I would put this even above DevDoss in terms of his acting. Well, and I think he filled not the film. I enjoyed DevDoss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he filled in a character that a script left pretty hollow. Yeah. I didn't get to know much about this guy at all. Yeah. Uh, not even if it was actually like true that he. Uh, sold out India in the beginning. Right. I, th I think he didn't, and it was just like yeah, a misconception. I think he didn't, too. I think it was a misconception. So based off true story, so you can tell us. But they yeah. didn't really s clear that right. out like entirely, like <laughs> that he didn't do that. Right. Uh, and so we just, I just assumed, like, okay, he was just like misrepresented right. kind of thing. Right. right. Uh, in, in that kind of stuff. But um, the, the, whole, the whole thing, there was a couple actors that were, but, and that's, especially older films that are not great, but most of the cast, including the girls, were really good. Was, I hated the protagonist in it, the the guy from the association. Oh yeah, that, no, the antagonist. Yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. sorry. Uh, he just seemed like a caricature to me. Uh-huh. Like, he was yeah. rooting against like somebody he I was, know, like, I know. So it, it, that was, I understand why the director did it, but it just, <laughs> That's not how things are in real life, and so no. caricatures make me very upset unless me they're too. in a comedy. Unless it's a comedy, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a comedy comedy, not like something that's supposed to be dramatic. Exactly, and based off a true story, right? Um, but I did, I, I did enjoy some of the songs. Yeah, I thought that the, the, the songs. Day, India. I like that one. A the lot. the whole training sequences and playing sequences that had music, mm -hmm. I w I thought helped keep me engaged and kept the movie moving forward. As did the score. Yeah, uh, probably one of my favorite things about this was the music. I not all the score. I did have a problem with some of the score though. Did you? Yeah, because it's same thing that happened with I. I can't remember what film it was, but sometimes. He tried to put music in there to make you feel a certain way. Oh sure, like not to not like yeah, not like good background music, but just like to manipulate you. or it's like right. stuff like that. Yeah, that it annoys me. Uh, but you know, most of the time, I agree with you that uh, the score was pretty good. That especially the songs part, yeah. I enjoyed when they were actually playing the game. I thought those shots were really good. I did too, and we don't know this game at all, so we can't tell whether or not their playing was believable in terms of their. Their, their level of expertise. If you show us basketball, baseball, football, martial arts, most other things that we were commonly watching all the time, we can tell you if they're believable. But I didn't know if these guys were World Cup level athletes while I, we were watching them on screen. I did enjoy uh, learning about it though, because I, yeah. I, 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 I assumed field hockey was kind of like real hockey. But I think it's it's like real hockey with some soccer aspect to it. Uh huh. Uh, they got. I mean, a I guess hockey does have penalty penalties at the end if you have a tie as well. They but do. Soccer has right. like if you tied, you've got to go to penalty kicks. Right, just it's like that. Same kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so that that was nice to learn about it because it was your national sport at one point, and it's not anymore. Right. Because uh, they don't have Because they don't technically we, have one. We've yeah. gone through this a couple times. We have. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did like, for example, I did appreciate where they didn't do caricatures was they didn't give us a stereotype for uh, Australia's coach or uh, England's coach. Yeah. Which could have easily just been stereotypical. One of my, one of my favorite lines in the whole thing was the, uh, the British coach turning to one of his side coaches and saying, which one's Dee Dee? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got that joke. Yeah. Oh, I got, I got that was that funny. <laughs> but yeah, they could have, like the Australian guy and those players, they could have been the quintessential stupid caricature and they didn't do that with those guys. Yeah. And I was, I was grateful for that. And this is, I really, I felt, um, I thought they did an, a decent job, but this could have been yeah. great. This could have been a league of their own. This could have been Remember the Titans. And I think a lot of that has to do with the, the inexperience of this director. I, I don't think even so. think he's still directing. Uh, I think so. I think it's a combination of the direction as well as the screenplay. I don't know how he got this job uh, with Shah Rukh Khan starring. Yeah. Maybe he knows somebody. Maybe he's related to somebody. Right. I don't know. But I think that's the main thing. It's, it was his second film. Because it's an incredible story. Yeah. It's a Absolutely great story based on a true story. story. I love that. 
uh, if, if it was just done correctly and it had some elements of that would have surprised me at all because this was like just such a predictable film there was mm -hmm. nothing especially if you've seen remember the titans as well some of the shots were almost i mean he i yeah. think he watched it before to get some inspiration yeah <laughs> yeah i think that's what what happened but going back to Shah Rukh khan which was probably my favorite part of this he was i thought he did really well it was, might have been his most subdued performance it was that we've seen and i and i felt a uh, he took what i think on the page is probably a, a somewhat hollow character and he he gave it life and gave it believability and gave it backstory i wanted to know more about this guy and i believed he was this guy the whole time and i think like like you said if the directing was better i think he could have been even better like yeah. certain scenes when he got like angry I, the way it was shot or written kind of mess with me a little bit but i was like I, I wanted the director to help him make his scene even greater than because he was giving it his all it's just i think the shots were uh a little off or the those something like that and we're being really nitpicky guys yeah we didn't dislike the movie no at all no um, not at all but and like if I somebody said, told me they were going to watch it like if a friend of mine said hey what about chalk to india i would let him know yeah enjoy it it's going to be like an after school special movie yeah you're going to love the story it's a true story that's the main reason to see this is to know this really did happen yeah um there were, but i would definitely recommend others over this though especially if you're not indian obviously most Indians yeah have of course seen this, of course, course. <laughs> yeah but the, the story itself i didn't know the story no uh, and I, I love the fact that this really happened. Indians must have been so proud yeah. when this happened. Uh, and a little side note, just a little thing that I've no I noticed in the film that it gets me so mad. And I've seen it in several films, and I know from Stupid Babies, this happens. And I want to know how prevalent this is in India and maybe regional. When they're at the McDonald's, mm. and those punks start catcalling mm -hmm. i'm really happy that the girls beat the crap out of them yeah and that's what i like to see but what i how how prevalent is that everybody how much do you ladies have to deal with punks who cat call you on a regular basis especially if you're attractive because i'll let you know something when we come to india if i hear it and see it <laughs> I won't let it go, and that's probably not going to be a good thing if it happens prevalently. Like if I was if I was walking with some stupid babies, and somebody went by and went, "Hey, baby," they'd have a problem with me. <laughs> Need to really be prepared for that. So let me know. Uh, I was so happy to Don't watch go anywhere them. with Rick. I was so happy <laughs> to see uh, um, SRK when they started the fight. Just tell them to sit. Down. I, I knew what was happening. Mm -hmm. It was. This is going to bond them yeah. together. But in particular, I like that he, he was like, not only is it going to bond them, but I'm going to enjoy watching them kick the crap out of these guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I really enjoyed that. The, the, the whole uh, overcoming the sexism uh, that these girls went yeah. through, I thought was a great story. I thought most of the girls did really, really well. Um, some I didn't enjoy as much, but uh, the most of the girls I thought did a really good job, and uh, I liked the story of women empowerment and yeah. overcoming yeah, man, the I, odds that they're put against you in society. How irritated did you get with forgive us, but forgive me for forgetting her name, but the 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 main girl whose story we kind of followed, who was engaged to the cricket player, mm -hmm. or not engaged, but was going to be. Uh, his consistent belittling of her dreams was a deep irritation for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> As it was supposed to be. Yeah, as it was supposed to be. Yeah. And he walked a thin line of being a caricature as well. Yeah, that's why. He wasn't, there wasn't anything great about that. Honestly, I would have rather them not made it as so obvious, more subtle. Like A League of Their Own. Yeah, like more, like, we know these guys a dick. You don't have to make it, like, so obvious. Um, yeah, I much, I much prefer, like, in A League of Their Own, um, her, what's her name? The main, the main, the catcher played by, um... Gina Davis, okay, and she wants to play, but her husband, who was in the military, has just come home, mm -hmm. and now she's going to be a wife. You haven't but, seen a League of Their Own. Yeah, if you haven't seen a League of Their Own, go see it and stop listening right now. Also, but there's no crying in baseball. He, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but his character was um, Bill Pullman. Mm -hmm. His character in that is the stereotypical guy in the 1950s who wants his wife to be happy building a home. And he's not affirming her dreams, but he's not being a, 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 a mean guy about it. 
I much preferred that where he's a likable guy. It's more realistic. It's more realistic where he's just not this uh, self. And maybe this guy was. So maybe they had to depict this guy this way, which it wouldn't surprise me if he was. Yeah. So case in point, if he was, he was. But for the believability and the the dynamics of it being yeah. more interesting, I just I just prefer when they're more realistic like that because then it shows people like you, they don't have to be this much obvious to leave a person right if they're not fulfilling what you want. right right you like, see the struggle they have yeah you can still see the struggle even if he's a nice guy but then at the certain moments you see he shows his true colors right and so it's, it's but then again this this guy in real life may have yeah, been yeah he may have been i don't know <laughs> no, you can yeah him. but like i said i didn't hate it but no, i didn't no. love it i'd probably give it a c plus honestly and that's mostly for srk i, I, I enjoyed him and the story i liked itself. it a little more i gave it a b you and that's a because b. i don't mind tying it up in a bow and letting it be saccharine and you know not style. style yeah not yeah style. for me it's like just it's a feel-good movie to watch and particularly at the end it, I enjoyed watching this and knowing this really did happen. I didn't feel really connected to the characters in the film where I felt a personal connection for them. Mm -hmm. What I felt was the larger picture of the reality of this story and what it must have been like for the real girls and the real coach and all of India. Yeah. That's what moved me, was yeah. the reality of the story, not the movie itself. I understand. So yeah, I gave it totally a Totally understand. Let us know what other SRKs we should watch after this. I know there's a ton. A thousand. We know. <laughs> Also, we, field hockey. The other one is gold. Is that right with with Akshay? Right. Akshay. Yeah. Is that one worth reacting to? Because I'd like to learn more about the sport. I love sports. One hundred percent. I mean, we like cricket now, and so if like if there's a different sport, I love sports. And one last little thought: um, after watching the TED Talk, I have a level of appreciation for SRK uh, even more, knowing the kind of guy that he is and yeah. his communication skill and his intellect, and yeah. so watching him portray this character, and after watching that. His my name uh, my name my is Tom. Yeah. Uh, he's just he, I really am enjoying and understand the star power of the guy. Yeah. I like the guy a lot. Yeah. So, so do I. Let us know, please. <laughs>